PRS-26 comes partially assembled and can be fully assembled by just one person. These video instructions correspond to the included printed instructions, which can be found at parktool.com. The number in the corner of the screen corresponds to the appropriate step number on the printed instructions. Tools you will need are a 4mm hex and a 10mm open-ended wrench. The height sleeve comes already installed on the upright tube. Remove it and slide the yoke, then height sleeve onto the upright tube. Install the knob into the yoke, but do not tighten. Install the upright end cap onto the end of the upright tube and align the holes. Install the leg straps, oriented as shown. Using the shorter screws, secure to approximately 4 newton meters. Repeat for the other leg straps. Install the leg tubes onto the yoke using the longer screws, washers, and lock nuts oriented as shown. Ensure that the legs are oriented so that the foot pad on the leg end cap will face the ground. Secure the screws to approximately 3 newton meters. Repeat this process for the other leg tubes, being sure the foot pad faces the ground. Note, when you're installing the leg tubes, it's helpful to install the screws so that the side with the knob has two screw heads. This makes it more comfortable when turning the knob. Install the leg tubes onto the leg straps using the longer screws, spacers, washers, and lock nuts oriented as shown. Using your 4mm hex wrench and 10mm open-ended wrench, secure the screws to approximately 4 newton meters. Repeat this process with the other leg straps and leg tubes, with screw, then leg strap, then spacer, then leg tube, then washer, and finally, the lock nut. Push the yoke down the upright tube until it contacts the yoke sleeve and tighten the knob. Install the clamp into the top tube assembly. Turn the top tube handle clockwise. To adjust the height, loosen the upright tube knob, 
Grab the top tube assembly just below the clamp assembly, make your adjustment, and retighten the knob. Always remove the bike when making adjustments to the working height. And do not set the height beyond the max height line on the extension tube. The cam actuated clamp handle allows for easy installation and removal of the bike. To install the bike in the stand, open the clamp jaws by spinning the clamp handle, insert the bike and close the clamp jaws until they are sufficiently tight. To rotate the clamp in the stand, loosen the swing handle, turn the clamp, and retighten. The PRS26 comes with three integrated indexing grooves on the extension tube. These help lock the extension tube in place, whether working centered over one leg or between two, there's better support for different bikes and work styles. Note, always ensure the adjustment collar is engaged in one of the indexing grooves before locking the extension tube in place. When you're finished using your PRS26, you can attach the clamp to the side for easier storage. For replacement parts, warranty information, and more information on all of our products, visit parktool.com.